Okay, here's another driveway video for you. I'm trying to get in the camera. Um, this is called um, shaping or molding behavior through Lori. I've got treats in my hand that he really likes. They're called Zooks. I'll make sure that you know what they look like so you can get yourself some. You really want treats that get his attention and you'll see why in a second. So what I'm gonna be doing is holding the treats up to his nose and literally having him follow my hand, just like this. And I'm going to be rewarding certain positions. Notice, no commands yet. Uh, here's one of the ones I'm gonna be doing. It's sort of a heel position. I'm gonna have him come to my side. That is a useful command and we'll put a word on it eventually. That is a useful thing to be able to tell a dog to do because if you want, if you're out in public, and you want to bring him to a heel position, boom. If you're at home and you want him to get over here to you and lay down, you get him to you and then you give him a down command. So bringing a dog to your side is a really useful command. Some people will just use heel as the command, which is fine. I, you know, I think it's all personal preference. I like to give it an additional word so that it's not, um, the heel command for me is a command that I like to use while we're on the walk. Um, if we're doing, look at him. Look at him, he's a hard worker. Um, so if we're doing a stationary situation or a situation inside, I like to have a different word for that. So you can use the word whether you're out or in, stationary or moving. And the word that I usually use is post, because for me, maybe it's a military background, uh, that just means to me, you're coming right here. Leave it. Good boy. Hey, you been working on that? I like it, okay. so. What I'm going to do is start shaping that behavior, shaping that behavior, shaping that behavior. And as he starts to bring himself to the position I like, you're going to see me reward him. And you'll also notice, I'm bringing him to my right side. You will also notice that as I bring him back, I'm going to step back with my right leg, the leg he's walking toward. And I'm going to loop him around. So I do a big circle. So I'm going to loop him around. And as he gets near my leg, I step him into place. So I'm going back, and then I'm stepping him into place. And when he gets there, I reward him, yes. And then yes. And then yes. And then when he starts doing it with some um, automatic uh, response, then I'm going to say post, yes. Post, yes. So the post will be when my hand's on the backswing. And then when he gets there, yes. Post, yes. And then we can have him also do a sit. But we'll get to that uh, another time. So, all right, I've got the long line on him. That's for safety in case he um, jumps up and sprints off. He does not seem to be a high risk, but nonetheless, okay. Safety first, always. All right, here we go. Look at him. He's just laying there waiting for trees to come out. Now, there is often a question. Come on, boy. Good boy. Here we go. Okay. I just keep bringing it back to his nose. Circle him around and step in. Yes. Yes. Good boy. Bring him around. I step back. Notice sometimes he looks up at me. Now I'm opening my hand. So the sweet thing is, is that he's checking in with me. I will never punish that. But what I'm trying to do, just repetition, and if he doesn't come, then I'll show him. So this is a great experience. So now I'm taking a little bit of the lead in the same hand as the treat hand. Yeah, get him moving. And then bring him up. Yes. 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 So he's learning, remember? Stepping back, swing. I gotta swing him back a little bit further or he won't make the turn. <laughs> yes. So yeah, he sat down for a coffee break in the middle of it. That's fine, we don't care. Yes, <laughs> as long as he gets back up and moves. He does like to sit and lay down, that's for sure. So if he doesn't get it again, he would rather that I walk around him. <laughs> so I pick up the lead and we do it again. I say nothing, and I bring them all, yes! And I bring them all the way. Yes. So 
so I'm shaking the bag up. I'm trying to get his attention because he really will just try to sit there the whole time. Okay. <laughs> I say nothing. I don't tell him good, bad, indifferent. Lead him around. And yes. Yes. Because we're giving him information. We're teaching him. So if that means that I'm going to pick up the leash and I'm going to use the leash for a while, that's fine. Notice I dropped the leash to see if I can get him moving. Oh, here we go. Yes. So I think you can see on that one, yes, that he jumped a little bit. He got a little playful. Great. If he's playful, he's really starting to engage. So great. Yeah, okay. See it? Here we go. Come on, my man. I'll even play with him a little bit. Anything to get that body moving. Yes and into the heel position. So I want you to come out here every evening that you have a chance and just do this. Five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever. If you need to use a leash, then use a leash to help him along. Always have a leash on him just in case. And what you're building toward is, hold on, fly going by. Big loop in the back, right leg is in back and step up. Yes. Yes. Good boy. So when I feel like he's really nailing this, and I don't want to spend time having you watch a 10 minute video, or 15, I guess I'm closer to that now. Um, but the idea is that as he really starts to get it, and he, you can see he's already starting to get it. Yes. Then I'm going to say post. So I'll keep working on this and hopefully I'll get to post sometime today. I'll text you to let you know. All right. Party on.